What's up, Wagme fam? This is Crypto Attic. Yo, this is A5 Crypto. And this video, we're going to talk about the latest drop from VV that's going to be on December 18th. And that's going to be the missing piece to the Series 1 of James Bond No Time to Die. Yeah, I'm quite surprised that they, uh, they, they just waited this long to release this. Inter interesting. Yeah, it's similar to what they did with the Ultraman and Edo. Um, they held off Edo until way later on, kind of like this. So I don't know if they plan on doing more similar to this as well, but this seems to be a thing every once in a while. Kind of hold off one one piece to finish off the series. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but before we go any further, uh, subscribe to our channel, guys. Uh, like this video and leave a comment on what you guys think about this uh, upcoming drop on Saturday. Yeah, so this is the missing piece to the series one of No Time to Die. And this set actually includes the glider, the animated glider, which is the ultra rare, the static glider, and uh, Safin's mask. So yeah, this is gonna be the missing piece to that collection. Yeah, and I haven't seen the video, so I don't really know too much about Valdo's case, but um, I'm assuming it looks like a weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, so I, I watched it, but I, I wasn't paying too much attention to it. <laughs> and, um, I, I'm going to say I don't know too much because I'm not a huge James Bond fan. But it is used, uh, spoiler, it is used as a weapon in the movie. And it attacks a certain group's DNA. So without any spoiler, try not to spoil it. It <laughs> wipes off an entire DNA set mm. of a certain you know genetic yeah so. and the, in the description of the 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 tweet that they sent out it says Vado's portable briefcase con briefcase contains multiple vials of powerful biological weapon and the equipment necessary to activate and arm it for use so when they say that i, I find that interesting because i'm what i'm wondering I wish they would have made this kind of like an animation, to be honest. That'd be kind of cool, no? Like you could detonate this biological uh, weapon in the the metaverse or the VVverse or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and wipe everything out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and wipe out all of your collectibles. <laughs> gonna, everyone's going to come visit your land and you're going to wipe everyone out that's on your land. You get right? Out my property, you're going to activate this. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, you know? I think it'll be funny. I don't know, but otherwise, I don't know why, you know, I guess I'm wondering how, how many of these are going to be released. I'm assuming like a low mint, to be honest, um, looking at the uh, previous ones, right? Uh, so based, based on the medium article, there's going to be 7,007 editions and it's going to be these, listed, right? yeah, it's going to be listed at $67. $67. I like their choice, their number of choice to mint 7007. Yeah, it, this is a common, it's common with this collectible. So the animated yeah. had 3007 and then 5007 of the static, and the mm -hmm. mask had 7007, and so does a uh, bottle's case. But as far True. as like mm -hmm. pricing wise, I could see it being pretty similar to Safin's mask. I, I don't think it'll even reach that amount i mean yeah unless you're a big like 007 fan i'm sure there are um but this is probably the last movie that uh what's the, i forgot the actor's name do you know his name as far as okay so I, like i said no no spoilers but um maybe it could be the last <laughs> oh no spoilers daniel craig yeah yeah, yeah. Daniel Craig. No spoilers. If you guys have seen the video, you yeah, I spoil it. <laughs> but no, no spoilers on what goes on in this this video. Oops. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so yeah, uh, how much is Safin's uh, mask going for? A uh, good question. Let's see if we check the marketplace. You have it yeah, up. Um. Uh, let me see. I mean, loading it up right now. 
but yeah i would assume like you said like not sure how how valuable this one will be of course um uh, since this is a low mint still relatively um it'll probably go for mass is higher Def definitely way more than the uh the mint price right i don't know mass is going for 77 so okay um huh. it originally went for or retail was 57. okay so it's about 20 so not not too much of a price increase uh this accessory may not be something that goes way above retail as well i mean i could yeah. see it landing uh, i mean if it has some utility where you could wipe someone off or some land or some type of repel a certain group of people away from your property mm -hmm. or something <laughs> <laughs> that'd be kind of cool man i'm thinking i'm that's what i'm saying it's it, not it that's not how it's cool. used in the video but maybe no it's <laughs> not oh okay well but, like yeah, i said i didn't spoil it at all this I, I can see like if you're gonna get it um unless you're trying to finish the set or if you're just a big 007 fan like me personally mm -hmm. i i would probably keep one just to finish the set other than that if i get more than one i would just uh flip it flip it yeah flip it for more gems and wait on uh possibly an even bigger release uh, or a release that you really find valuable to you personally yeah, yeah. but other than that that's our take on the Valdos case and uh, let us know how you guys you how you guys feel because like i said we're, we're not big 007 fans i'm not mm -hmm. a big 007 fan so um not much to say about the significance of this other than the movie itself without giving any spoilers mm -hmm. uh, if you guys have any input on it go ahead and fill us in leave a comment and let us know yep and like we always say like we always say we're all gonna, we're all make, gonna it. make it